Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is something very important that almost motorcyclists should do and is often overlooked. Check your tire pressure. Now, a lot of people on forums ask, you know, what type of tire, what type of pressure should I be running in your bike? And you're going to get an assortment of answers. Here's the honest to God, straight up truth of what pressure you should be running in your tire, how to find out what the pressure is, what it should be, and this applies to any bike even your car it's all pretty much the same procedure so here on the sidewall uh you will see a bunch of numbers and uh one of the numbers will say something about like max psi at and it'll give a load um so we're going to find those numbers on the side of it we're going to see what it says and then we'll actually check the pressure on there and we'll need to make some pressure adjustments if they need to be made so let's move in closer so if you look here on the sidewall it says max load uh, something kilograms, I'm reading it upside down, and I think it's 265 kilograms or 584 pounds. That's at a cold pressure of 41 PSI, pounds per square inch. So that is the maximum amount of pressure you want to have in this tire when it's cold. Now, manufacturers recommend you run approximately 75% to 90% of your max PSI. If it's a lighter bike and you're really looking for like a sport handling, you'll go on that 75% range. Uh, if you're traveling, commuting, things like that, you're better off keeping it up towards the 90% range. Now, if you remember from that math class, to calculate out uh, your 90%, it'd be 41 times 0.9, and that is 36.9 PSI. Obviously, you have a little bit of error, room for error here. But the main thing we're going to go for is this tire, the ideal pressure to run in this tire, is about 36 PSI. Now, that doesn't matter what the frame says, it doesn't matter what, you know, who knows what chat tires were changed out and stuff. And especially when you're looking at older bikes, maybe the rating or the grade of tires has changed. So you're always better off to go with what is listed on the tire that is on the bike. So, we're going to now locate the valve stem. And we will check to see if we have approximately 36 PSI in this front tire. Alright, now that we have stepped back uh, from the tire, we can actually look at the entire tire and wheel itself. Now you guys see this little black nipple thing on here? It may actually be chrome or something. Move the camera down there a little bit. See this little black nipple thing? This is your valve stem. There may or may not be a little black cap on here, and you can just lefty loosey that sucker right on off of there. Now we're gonna check your tire pressure with a tire gauge. This is just a generic gauge I have from the local auto parts store. Uh, we'll disregard the label, the promotion thing. But what's going to happen is we're going to try to put this on the valve stem nice and firm and square. And sometimes it's a little bit of trouble when you're dealing with brake rotors, but work at it a little bit. What's going to happen is we're going to put it on there and it's going to give a quick little psh. And when it does the little psh, and you want to make sure it seals, not just psh, sprays air. So give the little psh, and this little piece here is going to pop out. And we can look at the side of it and it has the PSI is listed on here, or bar if you want to be metric about it. Uh, but it has the PSI listed on here, and wherever it stops at, that is going to be our PSI. So approximately right there, that would be. 32 PSI. What we're actually looking for is 36. So right about there would be about 36 PSI. And after you check it each time, push it all the way back in. So try to aim to get this square down on there. Give it a quick push down. It should pop out right there. Now, turns out this tire only has 20 PSI in it. That's pretty low. Um, now, all tires do kind of leak a little bit on their own, um, and apparently this one has been leaking with the temperature change and stuff outside. So if I ran this, if I went out and rode this thing, maybe it might initially feel okay, but really start pushing into corners, I might lose a little traction ability, and also the tire could be squishing down and springing back out as it rolls around with the load on it, and that can lead to cupping, which is uneven tread wear. Um, Cupping's where you get kind of a little sawtooth finish down the uh, tread of your tires. 
So we're going to fill up this tire to where it needs to be. To do that, we're going to use an air compressor. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some air in here. So I have a standard tire chuck here uh, it's for a Schrader valve, if it matters. But the important thing is they have this little plunger here in the center. We'll push on a little bit. That actually lets the air out. And that little rubber piece around the back side there seals it. So we're going to try and push that down on the top of the valve stem. If we just get a big spray doing that, it means the air is not only going into the not going into the tire, but also it could actually be leaking out. It could actually be draining the tire down. So you don't want to do that. So we'll try and line this up and get it good and square here. Now we're just going to give it a few seconds. It's hard to know, so we're just going to give it a few seconds there. And we're going to check and see where we're at. So right there, that took us all the way up to about 32 PSI. So it's not a huge tire. It didn't take very long. And this is a decent sized air compressor. If you have a little air compressor that comes that plugs into your cigarette lighter, it may take a little bit longer. So we're going to give it a couple little shots more. And as you can see, the sidewall doesn't change. So looking at the sidewall is not a good judge of how your tires are doing, pressure-wise. There's 35 PSI. You can see it's sitting right on the bottom of the 35 mark. Move it out a little bit. So we're going to call that good. One PSI won't matter. Now, if you accidentally fill it up too much, a lot of valve stems have this little plunger on the back side here, and you can actually use this upside down and push in the little tab inside on the valve stem on the tire and actually drain some of the air back out. But we're sitting at a good PSI. So put the valve cap stem cap back on there. Just snug it down finger tight. Now we're gonna check the back one and we're ready to go ride. That's all I got.